Also in the news at six tonight, Henderson police opening fire on a man after what they say started as a family dispute. That man was not hurt and was eventually taken into custody. And here's what we know here at six o'clock. Henderson police say the man was causing a family disturbance and was suicidal. A caller told 911 the man would ignore officers and tell them to, quote, shoot him. When officers arrived, they say the man was outside the house and produced a long gun. Gunfire was then exchanged. Taking a look at where the scene happened, it happened at College and Paradise Hills Drive. Then on nearby Vista Serrano Court, we've now learned that a fire investigation related to this shooting is now underway. Fox 5's Regina Ahn live at the center of it all. Regina, what can you tell us? Yeah, guys, and information with this story has been developing pretty rapidly. Now, just a couple minutes ago, they did open up Sandy Avenue here in college, uh, but there are still officers here and firefighters just behind me, just starting their engines, heading out as the investigation continues. But I do want to show you guys in just a bit behind me the garage doors where the suspect was arrested from. And as you can see uh, from our viewpoint, uh, these firefighters just heading out for the day. Police, of course, giving us that update that the suspect's family gave police a call and the suspect was shot at but did not get hit and is not injured and neither is any of the uh, neighbors as well. Now here's a video we got from a neighbor earlier this afternoon. Officers positioning themselves outside of the home while he exited through the garage and some point after the suspect was arrested the home was up in flames as you see. Listen to Sergeant Julio Delgado who lets us know what happened moments before the arrest and why those shots were fired. The caller stated that the subject would fight officers and force the officers to shoot him. Arriving officers encountered the male outside the residence. The male produced a long gun and exchange of gunfire ensued. And our photographer is going to take a look at the garage doors and you can see it's almost a square shape and they are gathering items, gathering things through this investigation. Earlier we saw a police officer carrying out a bag full of items in a paper bag. So of course at this moment they're just trying to gather as much information as they can. We do know that neighbors were called to evacuate. We don't know how many neighbors. I have seen many cars coming up here and getting information from police. So we do know that we'll be sure to bring you updates as we know more, but at this point, two officers did shoot at the suspect. The, the suspect was not injured and not hit, so he is doing okay. As far as the next step in this investigation, I'm told it's simply to find out who uh, lit this house on fire. So that uh, will bring you that information as we know more as well. But for now, live here in Henderson tonight, I'm Regina on Fox 5 News Local Las Vegas. Regina, thank you.